happens. Yeah. You're like, hey, you want to go and do the thing? And, you know. But, I, but, I had something like that with Austin Butler. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. When he was on the show. Yeah. Wizards of Waverly Place star Jennifer Stone is spilling details about an outing she had with Austin Butler. The Oscar nominee was in a 2010 episode of the hit Disney Channel show, playing George, a boy who Selena Gomez's character Alex Russo had a crush on. While guest starring on the series, he hung out with Jennifer IRL, and she admitted on the Wizards of Waverly pod this week that she thought they went on a date. But it appears he didn't get the memo. Because we, he was a big movie buff, which was something that we really loved. Um, and I had a friend that worked with him recently, and she's like, oh yeah, he's a huge movie buff, which, yeah, he's a sweetheart. But so I I was like, we should go get a movie, whatever. And this was, I think, Blockbuster still existed. Oh, Netflix. Wow. No, maybe it was Netflix when they still like sent out DVDs. Right. We're not that old. Okay. Um, but I he am, like I'm that old. But he but he like came <laughs> over to the house and like we like went over we went somewhere to get snacks and so stuff. So you did like a Netflix and chill kind maybe of, before but Netflix it was not and chill that was for a him. Thing. It right. was not that for him uh, at all. It. But we watched Swimming with Sharks, which was great. That isn't the only thing Jennifer said about her dating life during the episode. She revealed a lot of guys on the show would talk to her so they could get to Selena. This happened to me a lot, which was really <laughs> I would always have crushes on ever, like all of Selena's boyfriends, because ever since I was like a wee little child, I've, I've, been, I've, I've liked the, the men's. But, <laughs> but, um, a lot of times what would happen is the guy would talk to me and we'd have a great time and I'd feel like, oh, like this is going well. And then at the end of the week, they would uh, pass me their number to give to Selena. Jennifer did clarify she didn't think Austin was one of those guys. And the Elvis star has come a long way since making a cameo on the hit Disney Channel show. More than a decade later, he is nominated for his first Academy Award for portraying Elvis Presley in the Baz Luhrmann biopic. But even though he has a lot of success now, he told Access Hollywood special correspondent Jason Kennedy earlier this month that he once considered retiring from acting. I mean, a handful of years ago, yeah. you considered retiring? I Is did. that true? Yeah, yeah, I really Why? did. For, for a number of different reasons. I mean, after my mom passed away, it put things in a different perspective mm -hmm. where I started to question if this was a profession that yeah, you, know, you know, could help the world or anything. And then, I, but then I thought of all those times I've I've gone into a movie and come out, and the world's felt more vibrant. Or, um, or I've had a cathartic moment where I needed a good cry, and I saw a film and it made me cry. Or I needed a laugh, and it made me laugh. And I thought that's what I get to be a part of. And um, storytelling has been part of uh, humanity since the dawn of time, and I, I feel really honored to be a part of that sort of lineage, you know? Uh, so, yeah, it was just, and there's times where you're also not getting to do what you really dream of doing. Yeah. And, um, and you kind of question if, if you'll ever get to that point of being able to work with the people that you've always wanted to. And so that's why, I mean, I, I honestly feel like a kid in a candy store now because I'm just <laughs> getting to meet the people I am and talk with the people that I have been around. And, and then to get to go on this journey with you, it's, it's amazing.